Hello everyone, today we're going to make a slime hutch. The slime hutch is made for 10,000 gold, 500 stone, 10 refined quartz bars, and 1 iridium bar. Quartz is easily found throughout the mine. Iridium bars I just take from my statues of fortune here. You should put it somewhere near water. I'll put it right there. And after three days, this guy shows up on your doorstep. Not bad. And he gives you the first slime ball. Green slime egg, rather. Well, let's take a look. So that's all it looks like inside. You take your green slime egg, put it into your incubator. These are your troughs that you fill with water once your slimes arrive, and then they can uh, start doing their slime thing. Then it only takes two days from the time of incubation for a slime to hatch. They can hurt you and it's quite annoying. And now that I'm starting to get some slimes, I've taken the time to kill 1,000 slimes in the mines. That way I can get the reward of the slime charmer ring, which prevents damage from slimes. So that basically just means I can water uh, and collect my slime stuff without taking damage and being annoyed. So now that I have my slime hutch going, and uh, a slime already in there, I'm going to create my slime egg press for 25 coal, one fire quartz, and one battery pack. We'll go ahead and put that there. And then from there you can put 100 uh, slimes into it and it will create you a slime ball uh, in one game day. So now we collect our green slime egg. Uh, they come out different colors. Green is the most common and we can put that in our incubator. Like so. I made another uh, slime egg press and loaded both of them up and I got two blue slime eggs out of it. My second slime has now hatched. Uh, it's another female. Uh, I want both a male and a female because then they'll start producing uh, these eggs on their own instead of me having to farm a hundred of them to make one. Luckily I have two more eggs to use and hopefully one of them will produce a male. When I woke up this morning uh, the game told me I had a male slime. I guess that would be this blue one here. So that's cool because now they will start to produce their own eggs. So it's now been six days since uh, I've gotten both a male and a female slime and they've started producing small slimes and now it's been seven days and they've made me a slime ball just gotta make my way over to it okay so it simply just spits you out slimes uh, once you collect a hundred of those you can make a slime egg in the slime egg press and then put it in the incubator kind of a long process one thing you can do if you don't have the slime charmer ring is just simply make a fence with a gate like this that way you can still water your troughs and you don't have to worry about the slimes bugging you at the same time. It's now been 25 days since my first slime hatched. I now have the maximum uh, 20 slimes I can have. But I'm not quite happy with what I have because I only have green and blue slimes. So the way to fix this is to kill a whole bunch. 
and then when new ones show up, hopefully they're the right color. So after a few months, I've basically only gotten green and blue slimes of various shades. I was trying to get a purple one. Uh, apparently they're pretty rare, but they do produce iridium and stuff that's a little more valuable because so far I feel like I'm farming slimes only to farm more slimes. Uh, it's just a continual slime farming thing. I'm not really sure what the point is. Uh, but on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, so hope you all liked it. Uh, thanks for watching and subscribe if you want to see more videos.